earthquakes, tidal waves, light, and even the sound that you're hearing is all a product of wave motion. What you may not know is that there's two kinds of waves, and those waves do very, very different things. And I could demonstrate those two waves to you with this real long spring that I've got here. There's two ways I can put energy into this spring. One way I can do it is to squeeze up this spring like this and then let it go. Watch what happens. Now that's called a longitudinal wave. It's where particles push down the length of the wave. Now, longitudinal waves are involved in stuff like earthquakes, sound, all kinds of shock. Like when a car hits a wall or something, a wave travels through the car. And that's called a longitudinal wave. The other type of motion I could put in there, instead of snapping the spring like this, which is long waves, is that I can move my hands up and down like this. And watch what happens if I do that. And you can see that's a different type of wave. That's called a transverse wave. Transverse waves are things like light, radio. Also has to do with all the things that happen in electronics and in your computer. 